light. The occult, to my understanding, means the hidden. Occult wisdom has the potential to empower the individual. You mentioned to me kings, queens, dukes, and earls, upper crust. Back in the day, and even to this day, it is not advantageous for the powers to be to have people thinking for themselves. Tim Leary, one of my great teachers, said to think for yourself and question authorities. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I'm gonna give them hell and make them earn your fucking money. Call your supervisor, call your wife, tell her you're gonna be late, you're gonna earn your whole paycheck tonight. Occult wisdom empowers the individual. How does it empower the individual? Under the guise and concept that knowledge is power. What is power compared to the hand that wields it? How did I get started? I got started in a, in a in an occult bookstore by people who knew I couldn't read. And I got turned on to Jeffrey the Giraffe, who taught me how to guess signs and guess astrology. And all the books in that occult bookstore were not really privy to me because I couldn't read. I have a book called The Secret Teachings of All Ages. It's a beautiful book. Manly P. Hall. Good book. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the Illuminoids and Political Paranoia. You know that Bible. Mm -hmm. um, Morals and Dogma by uh, Albert, Pike. Albert Pike. That was mostly racist rhetoric. You know, the thing to run through wars until people wanted a, a world government. Just to me, um, listening to the BBC and hearing about Chaco rations and our brothers on the Malabar front. And just watch 1984. I mean, I live that every day. I was born in 65 right here in America. I hear about Chaco rations. I hear about the Malabar front. I hear about Eurasia. I live... Winston's life, except for I don't edit anything but my own life, because I'll give you, I do things, you know, some people teach in quatrains, I teach in three trains, so keep your women closed. I'll give you six trains, three trains at a time, but I forget short-term memory loss, I see. To study the occult stuff, you need the sword of truth, the wand of intuition, and the shield of knowledge. Or you'll go completely fucking insane. So through astrology, you might not believe in astrology, but it believes in you. Maybe your doctor was playing golf at the time he signed your birth certificate. Just study uh, Eric Von Donegan, Chariots of the Gods. Eric Von Donegan, Chariots of the Gods. Can you go over that a little bit? Just overview? Well, he rewrote Genesis. He, you know, uh, all the tales out of Genesis, like uh, when a guy's bargaining with God, he says, oh, if I can find 40 good souls, I'll spare the village, Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, well, what if I can find 10 good souls, or five, or four, or even one good soul? Don't look back or you'll turn into a pillar of salt. Maybe that was uh, off the mothership. Bam! Laser beam. Just trying to create a moral code. Basically keep people from humping each other and humping the animals or you know whatever code they were trying. Look at all the beautiful variety of life on this planet. The Chinese got the, uh, the chi of their land, the chi of China. The, the people of India have the chi of India. The people of Canada have the chi of Canada. The people of America have the chi they stole from the Indians. <laughs> and basically, we're all Indians now. In an Orwellian mindset, or an Orwellian disposition. Now, present day? Where Winston's seen scratching the big brother's face off the bottle of gin and smoking tobacco. He's on the monitor until they put a rat cage over his face to get Winston to come around to Papa's way of thinking, to Big Brother's way of thinking. There is more security on this hill, more eyeballs than there is in a British mall. You know anything about Britain and surveillance, they got more cameras everywhere. Oh. So, um, as a blind person, I don't like video surveillance. 
and you, you got food coming in smaller packages. Food control is people control. You have people eating off the back of a two and a half ton military truck. Talk about give me some. Dependence of monoculture. Food control is people control. Even this candle is in a more slender cylinder and has less wax in it and burns one day less than it did five years ago or four years ago. And that candle now costs twice as much. It was uh, your Einstein, your beloved Einstein who said, after the bees are gone, you got four years and no more. They're not gone. But honey's twice the price. A great game. It's called a great game. Everybody wants to rule the world. Start with you. That's the other three train. I made this up. <coughs> You consult the kernel of truth. You be the kernel of truth. You wrestle with your demons and your angels will sing. After you consult the kernel of truth, you're in a position to change your major. Tim Leary said, change your fucking major. You get your life script and you read it over and say, this sucks. It's Ludus, Chris said. It's not the hand that you're dealt by how you're playing your cards. And I live that every every single day. I wrestle with my demons every day. My angels sing. Every day I check out the deck. Every day I look at the cards. I'm, I'm, you know. So after you consult the kernel of truth, change your major, you're in a position to promote yourself to general and take the reins of your own destiny. Live long and be phosphorus. Be a life affirming, death affirming culture. You know, look at Dick Cheney and Darth Vader. There's some parallels there. You use Star Wars and Star Trek. Gene Roddenberry, uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. I guess there's a part in there where the monkey throws a bone up into the air and turns into a spaceship. I didn't see that part. Occult wisdom, occult knowledge. A lot of girls run around, study tarot cards, get themselves all on that bent. That works. Ouija boards, other mediums. But the truth is, is we're all receivers and transmitters. And the AIDS, if you lived on an island, and you were a, uh, um, not a Maori, but a. Uh, Pacific Islander, you know, he lived on the island. You'd have telepathy. Telepathy is lost in technology, in commerce over conscience and conscious over commerce. Eric von Donegan basically redescribed Genesis as a mothership blowing everything up that it didn't fucking like. <laughs> Till it got the specimens of humanity right. You have Asia and all the different peoples of the world. And, um, oh, when Moses saw the uh, burning bush and he came back all white, he was radiated from the spaceship. Hmm. You know, he fucking was, he got uh, radiated. He was, he, had, he was exposed to radiation. Um, he says that the concept of hell comes from uh, humans being made to mine uranium which is what makes spaceships go. The history of mankind is it sucks the life out of everything it comes in contact with and leaves. Well, that's what aliens do. They, is it cavorting with earth women? I use the parallel like this. 